I got a call from Caspian's calculus teacher today. She said he's ready to take the AP exam now and start a college course next semester. Well, it's good he's passed that. Differential calc's worthless. <laughs> worthless? It's not practical in the real world, unless you want to be a teacher. You want to be a programmer? Lambda. Well, I thought it was impressive. And if you were hiring for centillion or logarithms, your opinion might have value. I know Lambda. Really? So if I were to give you a problem, like the kind they'd throw for an entry-level coder job, you could solve it? Carrie. You brought up math, Renee. I'm just talking to my son. I'm pretty tired. All right, I'll give you an easy one then. Five geniuses sit around a table, each with a bowl of tofu stir-fry with bok choy in front of them. There's one chopstick between each guy, therefore one to the right and left. In order to eat, any given genius needs to use both chopsticks. They have to alternate eating and thinking because they can't do both at the same time. How do you make sure all the geniuses get their thinking done without starving to death? Well, I think I know this one. Each man takes a chopstick to feed the man next to him. That's a religious allegory between heaven and hell. This is a, a concurrent algorithm problem. So he knows what the problem is. That is a start. Assume infinite amount of stir fry. And infinite amount of stomach space. Maybe it is hell. It's hard to avoid deadlock, isn't it? This is a shared resource problem that appears in programming all the time. Uh-uh. The guy on your right's using that one. He just wants to eat his dinner. Quiet. I give up. I don't get it. It's a hierarchy solution. You assign a partial order to the resources. Okay. You number the chopsticks, one through five. Each man picks up the lowest number first from the two in front of them, and the order, in the they, order put they put them down in doesn't matter. If four of the five geniuses pick up the lowest numbered stick, only the highest number remains on the table, leaving an odd man out until the next round. I thought you said you didn't get it. It's not practical in the real world, unless your program only has access to one database. Across multiple, you'd have to release hired number records before accessing new ones in your program would stall, then crash, then you'd be fired. Oh, but you do avoid deadlocks. It's easy to poke holes when you don't have- Introduce a third party, someone from the outside, a waiter, an arbitrator that each genius has to ask permission for to lift their stick. They can always put down, but they must have permission to lift. Third party works as a mutex, reduces parallelism, 